join me in beginning what the mission really is and what today's program is all about. So what you've got to do is not only do you have your state, federal, and local partners help you with that, but you've got to have the communities help you with that as well because these are the communities we serve and this is our number one most important resource is our patients. So we want to be able to provide life-saving care close to home and the foundation is an integral part of being able to do that, especially with the, with the cuts to rates and reimbursements. As the country continues to grow and more and more uh, emphasis is placed upon health care, reimbursements continue to dwindle and therefore profitability con continues to dwindle as much. So it's very difficult to make investments and to grow service lines for the people that need it the most. This is a way that we can not only give our local uh, people the opportunity to contribute if they desire, but it's also a way, again, to form partnerships with corporate uh, partners or you know, people of wealth that want to make investments for, again, the people that need it most. primary goal for 2020 and the rest of this year as well is the work to help PMC on the Children's Hospital that's already been announced. But not only that, but also the work to expand service lines and, and services available to pediatric patients in our region. This is a uh, project that's near and dear to my heart. We've talked about quite a bit here lately. But uh, you know we've got about $7 million that we're getting ready to invest in the development of the area's first children's hospital. We've, uh, we have several advancements over the past several years, but a hospital is something that we, we don't have and that we desperately need. Too often our kids have to leave the region for pretty much everything that is of an emergent type circumstances. So to be able to make an investment, to be able to keep some of those kids at least local, to cr and I keep saying we're going to crawl before that we walk, but giving corporations and people the opportunity of making an investment will allow us to walk faster, sooner, and, and, and more quick. Uh, for the people, again, the kids that, that need it the most. Well, keep in mind, we have over 500,000 patient encounters expected this year for Pikeville Medical Center. We are in the process of working to build, a, working to bring a children's hospital here to, to, to our region. Um, so what the foundation tries to do is try to bridge the gap between our institution and our communities we serve to allow those uh, people who want to participate in our growth to participate in that. And what we're doing by today's announcement is, is just encouraging people to participate. Of health care that we're able to provide. And we're extremely proud of that. But there's more to do. We're going to kick off our campaign. I'm sorry. <laughs>